going on everybody uh bruce here with monthly size exotics um i don't know how long it's been since i've been done this the last video probably two weeks hopefully not too long i'm trying to keep track of everything get back into the whole video making and all that uh since the last video we did let go about about 10 10 snakes or so 10 somewhere between 7 and 10 yeah, I know how I am. I'm pretty sure if you see my old videos and you know me personally out here in Philly, you know that I'm very specific with what I like to do and what I want to do. And that's just how I am. I don't know if they're, you know, I don't know if everybody's like that, but I'm very specific with what I want to breed. Not just money wise, of course, money wise, because I still got to feed the animals. And um, what's valuable, because. Pastels, you know, yeah, it's good to see a baby snake hatching and all that. It's awesome. It's awesome to see a baby snake hatching. I mean, they're normal. But, come on, you're really going to feed your snakes off of that? You know, it's not about the money. But then again, remember, you got a whole bunch of animals to feed. And then if you're breeding and you got more mouths to feed, so, you know, how you going to feed them if you're not selling the baby that you're making? So, you know, it's not about the money. It's just, you know, it's, you want to try and make a business out of something. It's like... I don't know, I got hope that, you know, you guys get my uh, point, I'm trying to say. But, uh, here we go. Now, this first male that I'm about to show you guys, he's not adding to the collection just for the fact that this guy right here that I'm going to show you guys when I pop, when I bring him out, he's taking his place. But this first male is a pretty cool male anyways. Let's see if I don't get bit out this one. And... He is a pastel pie male, little white. That light right there is fucking amazing. But uh, he's a beautiful animal. I really love him. He's a great snake. He's got a little stuck shed, but uh, yeah, he's a great snake. You know, he's uh not too bad. But uh, I won't be needing him nor so. If anybody's interested, he's uh three hundred dollars ship to wherever you want, and as long as it's USA. Uh, I'm not gonna ship out of the United States, but he's a beautiful little animal. Look at him, little bugger. But yeah, he's getting replaced, uh, so I won't be needing him no more. Um, here we have. Uh, I gotta take her out because she's a, uh, she's like Lucifer herself. So that's actually her name, Lucifer, and she's not too friendly. Let me just try to take her out. I don't know thing myself. And see how this goes. Oh, Lucifer's in shed actually. So Lucifer's, Lucifer's not gonna be too happy about me doing this. Pink belly, she's in shed, yeah. But this is Lucifer. She laid Tiffany's first clutch of eggs ever, because Tiffany didn't used to breed until you know got with me, but Tiffany's first clutch so she's not gonna be for sale, never, because this has a special place in Tiffany's heart. And she's also head for pie, so <laughs> she's staying here with me. Ah, she probably needs some water. Hold on. Got you, baby. There you go. Okay, one second. Let me get her more water. Give me one second. And as usual, the country, you know, you always hear country in the background because I like country. Wish I could get a truck and put it like uh, extra high, like a monster truck. Those kind of trucks you hit a deer with and you keep on going. That kind of truck. So yeah, she's the head pie. And the problem with this with this rack is that the person I got it from probably mismeasured the whole thing. So this one needs a lid. Great rag though. Now this little guy is taking the place for the pie. And he's gonna break to the second one we're showing you. And it's this guy right here. You can actually see him too well, but uh hopefully you can. And he is a lavender albino, hundred percent heifer pie. And he'll be breeding to his mother too, which we got here. She produced both albinos and pies in the clutch. So, proven. 
a good thing, you know. Uh, yeah, she's proven she, he's gonna bring right back to her. Hopefully, I don't think he's gonna be ready to come season. So next season, hopefully, he has um, ready and we get some of our some dream circles. I think we call them. Now this girl we just got not too long ago at the Hamburg Reptile Expo in Pennsylvania, and uh, she's beautiful, man. I I absolutely love her. I love the pinstripe jean, like things you could do with it. Oh, she's crazy. Uh, the things you could do with it. She, she's a beautiful animal. Taylor. <laughs> she's a shy snake, but she's really nice and gorgeous and beautiful. And she's been breeding to the banana, which we actually sold not too long ago. So thank you, Brian, for getting that. Um, gave him a great deal, and he took it home, you know, and... I know he's got to take care of it. Whatever he needs, he's just come knock on the door and ask. Uh, we figure out something pretty cool about our Silver Street Lesser, which I believe is a Super Pastel Black Pastel Lesser. Yeah, I think it's that. She's a paradox. And I didn't notice that until a few days ago. She's a paradox. And she is. Her beautiful self. She's gorgeous. She only wants to see African sulfur. So if anybody has some kind of like advice for me on how to switch her back to like regular rats, I'd greatly appreciate it. But uh, nice white belly. Look at them sides. She is uh, she's something crazy. Them eyes are like bluish grayish. I don't know. You can see that. But here's a paradox. She has a uh, like the regular brown color from a normal all in her tail. And it's pretty fucking cool. Uh, sorry for that language, but it's pretty fucking cool. I was really hoping she got bigger by this year, so she could have bred to the banana. But then again, the banana's gone. I'm getting another banana, which I think is a Enchi um, Firefly banana. It's coming in probably next week. I gotta check with the guy. He's coming from New York. He wants to drive over here and drop it off personally. Now this guy is literally, oh he's in a striking position. Now this guy is literally our favorite in the whole collection. But he's so tiny. Now, look how tiny he is though. But he's beautiful though, look at him. And this is our GHI Mojave. And uh, he's another dick. Sorry for the language again, but. He only like he only seems to like um eating um mice and all that. I guess that's what the burrito was feeding him before I got it. But uh, I want to get him in rat pups and all that, so he grow a little faster. I know he ain't gonna be able to breed this year, but you know it's worth a try to get him a little bigger sooner, you know, than later. Then later, and I got the Darth Vader tattoo. I don't know if you can see that, but Darth Vader tattoo, and his name is Darth Vader. So that's pretty cool. I guess I should get somebody named Michael Myers since I just got this tattoo yesterday. But I ain't naming nobody Michael Myers because Tiffany's scared of him. Yeah, I'm a dick. I got a Michael Myers tattoo in my hand when my mother's child is, uh, my child's mother is scared of it. Sorry, I got tongue twisted. My child's mother's scared of it. And I got a Michael Myers tattoo. Fuck it. But yeah, this this uh... The prodigy of uh, Medusa Exotics. So I'm getting real focused on what I want to really want to breed. Like I said, I'm, I'm not just breeding the breed no more. Uh, if you are from here from Pennsylvania, then you would understand. Because there's a lot of fucking people that call themselves breeder here. And uh, they're really not breeders. And they're just making the hobby kind of messed up. And I hate when I see somebody breed something. Or they buy something. And the breeder tells them what it is. Like, let's say you buy a pastel, uh, a firefly, right? You buy a firefly. And I hate when that person that just bought the firefly goes to more breeders and asks, hey, what's this? Then more breeders tell them, oh, it's a bongo pastel. Oh, it's a vanilla pastel. Oh, it's uh, an enhan en enhancer gene with a pastel. And then they come back to you and be like, oh, well, you sold me something that wasn't what you said. I brought it. I know what it is. 
You should have never went asking. I told you what it was. You should have brought it yourself and proved that on yourself. But then again, that's Philly for you. I'm telling you, like, Philly is full of no good breeders. Like, um, wannabes, I'll say. I guess I'm one of them wannabes because I'm not really too big of an important breeder. I just do it because of fun. It's, it's really fun. Yeah, I make money out of it, but it's really fun to do. Like, anybody that knows me personally, like I said, will tell you that I do love these animals. And everywhere we go, if there's somebody scared of snakes, me and Tiffany will actually force him to pick up the snake like dicks but they get over it and then they, you know they start asking like hey when can i get a baby da, da, da. And, you know we we nurture them till they're ready to buy one then we actually get one you know and you know that's where it goes everything so you know it's just philly's not good for red dog man unless you're actually a big time breeder and you've been doing it for more than 10 years plus like uh hugh hugh jorgen he's in youtube he's a great breeder right outside of the line in philly uh i love him though like his animals are beautiful great quality i mean i recommend looking up looking up uh, hugh jorgen's channel like, he's, he's fucking great um what else can i tell you about philly most of the people i know in here in philly like anthony uh anthony narsinski he doesn't have a youtube so i can't really tell you where to find him unless his number is up for some uh, for some reason uh dave there's some guy dave he's pretty good uh my man Frank, he used to do this and he was great at it, but kind of retired and let it down to me now. So I took Frank's place, basically. <clears throat> so hopefully I'm doing a good job. Yeah, that's about it, brother. Uh, now let me show you the mom to the lavender head pie. And she's a big girl. Yep, she is. Uh, she's the most... Four feet, I think. She's uh, as thick as they come. Hey, little. Huh? <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> yeah, and she proved out actually too. Uh, she did lay pies and albinos. So I'm really stoked about her. Hopefully, uh, next year we get some green, some dreamsicles will be great. Man, I can't, I can't really complain. Some dreamsicles will be great. That's about it basically, uh, you know, it's not the same as it was probably 10, 15 years ago with the whole breeding situation with snakes. The market keeps, people say the ball market, the ball plucked up market is going down, but I don't see it. Yeah, there's more people breeding things. So of course you find it easier, like bananas will go for like 150 when they was going for almost 20 grand when they first came out, I guess. Uh, you can see a male pie for uh, 200 bucks. I mean, look at me. I'm selling a male breeder pie for 300 bucks. I'm pretty sure that wasn't like that a few years ago, but it is now, and uh, it's nothing bad about it. You know, in time, you know, it seems like it does seem like you gotta find something new that nobody's working with <clears throat> and make something amazing for you to be like completely back on top of the game. But remember, it's not about the the money because those people that made them new genes that you know, like uh, super cinnamons and. Uh, the people that discovered the banana and brought in the first albinos, they did it because they seen something pretty. And yeah, they seen a profit, but it's because they wanted to breed it. They, they loved the animal. They did it because it was something cool for them. Like uh, you see some people that got a gene that's brand new and they still keep every single hatchling. Because yeah, it'll make more on, you know, the higher the man, the more the money you can ask for. But because they like the animal, they see what it makes and they want to mix it into a whole lot of things. And that's a good way to do it. So uh, whatever questions you guys have about um, breeding and, and anything, you know, anything I can help with, I'll leave my number in the uh, description of this video. Get your friends to uh, subscribe to me, share my videos if you can. You can follow me on Instagram at Medusa's Eyes Exotics. Hold up, Medusa's underscore Eyes underscore Exotics underscore 42, I believe. I'll leave that in the description too. And um, hopefully everybody's doing good, you know. It's always one love for everybody. Thanks for watching.